Close your eyes. Take a couple of long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And then stay right there. This is going to require mindfulness. In other words, keeping in mind the fact that you're going to stay here. Otherwise, the mind tends to wander around. It also requires alertness, watching what you're doing. Again, when the mind is wandering around, it's not really paying attention to what it's doing. It's looking at the results. It's like watching a TV show and not thinking about all the work that went into creating the show. Because the mind does a lot of work as it goes through the day. Just to think a thought of the future, think a thought of the past. It has to create the thought, keep it going. And it likes the illusion of being in the future, being in the past. So it tends to turn the blind eye to the present moment. So we're bringing our vision to the present moment to watch the mind. Because the mind needs to be watched. Otherwise it's going to slip in some greed, aversion, delusion. Lots of unskillful ideas, and then you go with those. And you end up doing unskillful things and then regretting the, what you've done. Or sometimes you just reap the results without knowing that it came from what you did. This is one of the Buddha's great insights, is that the pleasure and the pain that we meet with in life comes from our own actions, either present actions or past actions. You can't do much about past actions, but you can make sure that your present actions are skillful. This is where you can exert some control over your life. This is where you can have some power over what your life is going to be like. If you go someplace else, you've lost control. So stay right here. Watch the breath, and as you watch the breath, the breath becomes a mirror for the mind. And you can see your mind much more clearly and see what it's doing. And that way you can stay in charge. Don't let things be on automatic pilot. You want to be right where the decisions are being made. So stay right here. This is where all the important things in life are happening. If you look at the TV, you look at the internet, they say other people are doing more important things someplace else. As if your time had no meaning. But you have to say, no, what I'm doing right now, that's the important thing in the world. So I've got to give it my full attention. If each person were to take responsibility for him or herself right here in the present moment, the world would be a much better place. You can't force other people to do that, but you can do it yourself. And you can set a good example that way. So try to be on top of what the mind is doing right here, right now. Set it in the right direction. And then do your best to remember to keep it in the right direction as you go through the day. Because no one else can direct the mind for you. You're the one who has to do the work. But when you do depend on yourself and you find that you can make yourself dependable, that's when you're really safe.